So the goals of this course today are to give you a basic overview of BLAST design. There's some relatively high level topics that I'll be covering. Um, for some of you this may be a little much, for others it may be a little basic. Um, so it, it, it just depends on your background. Uh, but what I've tried to do here is give you an overview of, of pretty much most of the aspects that one would need to do if they're trying to do work um, for blast resistant structures. Um, a lot of this information can be found in, in some of the older textbooks, um, like there's a dynamics textbooks by uh, Biggs, and a lot of the basic work that is, is used today is based upon that, and a number of the topics that are included in the slides today are from some of that work. I'll also refer to a, a couple um, other documents, which I'll talk about briefly, that are open source that you can get your hands on. Um, that can help you in a lot of the background reading. But the goal really is to give you a snapshot of BLAST design. I typically cover this material in my spring semester course at Lehigh University, and it's a semester-long course, so I'm boiling all of that down into an hour and a half today. So I will do my best to keep it as simple and straightforward as possible, but there, like I said, a lot of different topics here and a, a lot of uh, intricacy on the details. So just going through these bullets here, I'm going to start off with uh, blast pressures and explosive size and standoff, sort of the demands that are being generated from blast events to help you understand where, where these effects are coming from. From that point, we'll go into the dynamics of, of the response of components, so looking at the analysis of the actual structural components, and then how to do that using some basic simplified methods, um, and that is referred to as single degree of freedom methods, or SDOF methods. And lastly, we'll go into performance level of buildings based on these prescribed levels of performance that are required for a given job. Okay, with that said, let me begin. So the seminar materials, as uh, Maria mentioned, include uh, the PDF of slides. And I've also asked her to give you a copy of the PDC uh, response limits, which are also available. Um, so this information here, uh, if you have access to SBEDs, which I'll explain in a moment, then this is included with the SBEDs package. But this is a useful document that explains uh, some of the response limits and where they come from. So I've asked her to include that, and if she didn't, um, I'm sure we can get those to you after the seminar is completed. Uh, the other thing which we I, I reference is EOC 34002. So this is a really good document and provides a lot of the information that I'm going to be discussing today. It's important to note that, that this document, it was developed quite a while ago uh, for containment of explosives. So whenever you have uh, munitions on a base, uh, th that munitions, uh, those munitions would need to be um, contained in a structure that would provide protection for the rest of the people working on base. So it's a relatively old document that was originally developed um, as TM5-1300, but the approaches which are used in that can be used for the actual design of structures that are um, subjected to any type of explosive loading. Uh, that includes petrochemical facilities, um, um, buildings that are subjected to anti-terrorism design, things like that. So even though this document is focused on design of containment structures uh, for munition storage, um, this, the basics of blast design are in this document. It's a very large document, uh, over a thousand pages long. A lot of um, tables and figures are used in the documents, um, um, so you can, you can get the, all the information out of that. So this is going to be a basis, basic document which you can go to and refer to if you have any questions on some of the details that I go into today. The document's available for free on the whole building design guide. So if you go to this website, the www, w, the whole building design guide, wbdg.org, uh, you can download a copy of it. And again, it has all of the information that we're covering today. Uh, the secondary bits of information are SBEDs. A lot of people today are using SBEDs. Uh, it's essentially the uh, single degree of freedom design spreadsheet. Um, it is developed by the Protection Design Center, or distributed by the Protection Design Center of the U.S. Army Corps uh, in Omaha. Um, they, this is a very nice tool which was put together. It's Excel-based, so you can analyze the response of a variety of different components, uh, structural steel, 
uh, concrete, walls, beams. Uh, I think there's even some information on um, light gauge steel construction. So you can do a lot of the single degree of freedom analysis that I'm going to discuss here using this tool. You do have to request a copy of the tool from the, from the PDC um, to have it on your workspace. 